Welcome back to Sawyer's Farm. I'm Jacob. Uh, today we are going to be in the garden. We are actually going to be harvesting a couple crops. Uh, first we're going to go off on our corn. Uh, we're just going to pretty much pick it all, pull it up, and, and then we're going to probably get some okra and see how much we get off of that. But we got little Moses here. He's pretty much just going everywhere with us. Uh, we're just going to let him walk around here in the garden and let him get used to the, the garden. He can also protect the garden too whenever he's over here. Keep all the little other critters out of here. But uh, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing right now. And so we'll show you doing all that. So one of the things that some people may ask is when do you know that corn's done? And we're really, this is kind of our second year of doing corn, so we're very new to corn uh, for sure. These didn't turn out as well. They're not very big. So I don't know exactly what we did wrong, but we'll definitely try to just be better next year. But most of the time when I, when, uh, whenever I read up on, you know, when is it ready, when they say these tassels right here kind of look like this, they said it's pretty much kind of done. And another thing too is the bugs are getting after them, those worms. And so we're pretty much just pulling them up now. They're really small. I don't know if they keep going or not, but they seem like they're going to get as big as they're going to get and the worms are getting to them as always. So that's kind of one thing that I've seen that people have said is if those tassels are kind of frayed like that, that means they're kind of ready to go. But we're just going to continue to keep plucking these away. All right, so we got the uh, corn pulled out and we got it thrown over here. We're gonna let the, uh, I didn't know the goats were gonna eat uh, this these stalks, but we're gonna let them have a little couple helpings of the stalks and then we're just gonna throw it into the pigs and we'll let them eat whatever they're gonna eat and then it'll kind of just decompose over in that area. But we're gonna let them eat and then we'll go give it to the pigs. Now we're gonna just uh, kind of harvest a little bit of okra. I come out here, you know, every day, every other day just kind of depends on what the day before looked like. And I'm gonna start cutting some and then uh, just see how much we get in this little basket. So what we like to do is 
you know we're going to be pickling these we have pickled uh, a couple batches of them we'll probably do a video later about uh pickling okra if if y'all are interested in that but how we kind of do our okra here is you can see right here this is kind of a you know it's good size for a pint jar you know if you get the kind of longer ones they're a little hard to get in a pint jar so we like to just i cut it right there and then we prune our okra now this is another thing that i see a lot of people there's some pros and cons to everything uh, we just like to prune them because it's easier for us to come in here and stuff like that there is something about like production and that but i'm not a garden expert but there is some things where you don't have to prune them and there's some benefits too but we just as soon as we take one off we take that limb that was next to that off just every time we harvest so like this one it's a little smaller but i'm gonna take it and then snip that off and i do that for every single one all right so we want to give you a little bit of an update on our little cantaloupe patch and like the, I, this is only like one plant it's kind of crazy it's kind of going on it may be two if i remember correctly but um we have i have harvested one and it is awesome i ate it probably within a day um we got one almost ripe and the color's looking pretty good and how you know uh i looked up on you know how you know when to harvest them when they start getting this color and then this stem right here if it either just falls off by itself or if you like kind of touch it and it just snaps off like just real easy you're good to go um, and we got a couple other plants here so this is kind of like what this one used to look like you know that one's kind of smaller we got some other ones over here I think we have probably about six total I'm seeing some even uh, younger ones that are like literally just the size of a little baseball but um very excited for this getting these and I'm actually gonna be saving the seeds to these for next year and you get a lot of seeds out of this cantaloupe just from the one I got I probably got at least a hundred seeds if not more um, so we're gonna be saving those and it's really easy to save uh, I was really surprised on how easy it was but that's kind of the cantaloupe situation very excited uh, and they taste amazing all right so we got uh, I got done with the okra this is kind of what we got just in a day's pickings yep. Uh, pretty good this one's a big big sucker right that here that one went a little too long but yeah you can tell them what what to do with those yeah later I'll, I'll tell you what you can do later with these big suckers a lot of people <laughs> throw them away but i found something you can do with them and another thing is i just today for the first time ate okra raw just right off the right off the vine or the plant whatever you call it it ain't bad it really ain't Hey, put it down in the comments if y'all eat okra raw or ever have. I think it's not that bad. But so on the corn, you can see uh, we got a pretty good amount. Now the corn didn't do probably as good as we wanted it to, but we never had a good. We're learning yeah. when it comes to corn. We're definitely not experts at doing corn, but yeah. it turned out pretty good. Now this is the glass gym corn that we planted, and we got the seeds from Good Simple Living. They sent us some seeds. And I was really excited to try it because this corn is actually native yeah. to Oklahoma. So I thought that was pretty cool. But the glass gym corn, let me show you. Get up here close. It has all different colors of kernels. I think it looks really awesome. And this is just like one variety. Some of them, uh, like this one, for instance, it's more like a pastel color looking. You can tell right here where the worms are starting. Yeah, you to get can see the it. worms we're getting up here. We'll just cut that off. But a lot of people use these for um, decorations. Decoration. Sorry, I think Blake. you can uh, <laughs> use them like for a popcorn. Yeah, this is more of like I think they call it a flint corn. So it's uh -huh. hard. You don't just eat it like sweet corn right off the cob. It's a pretty hard kernel. So a lot of people they'll use it for decoration in the fall and whenever that's done and over with you can use the seeds for seeds for next year or you can grind it up into cornmeal or use it as a popping corn mm -hmm. so 
all three of those do pretty good. I'm I'm excited because it just looks really cool and I'm gonna probably do some decorations with this and stuff and use some seeds for next year, but it turned out pretty good. Yeah, that we're one gonna... turned out real good. I was really surprised with this one. Yeah. Like we said a lot of them are kind of smaller. Yeah, we a lot of smaller ones. We didn't think they were going to do, we weren't going to get a very good thing, but seeing this one, if we get a, just a few more look like this, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah and really we don't nice. know for sure if that's not even, if that's not regular size, but. Yeah. It just, like we said, we haven't really been very successful with corn. <laughs> But we got a whole tote full here and we're going to get to uh, shucking all that. And with this uh, glass gym corn, we just like to leave the uh, corn husk on there. Just kind of pull them back like that. And it makes a good little decoration piece. We also, you guys notice this guy right over here. He's pretty shy. He didn't want to uh, say anything on camera. This is my little brother, Blake, and he helped us pick the corn today. So you guys give Blake a thumbs up for helping. Yeah. He's, He's shy, he don't want to say much, but um, I did want to tell him thank you for coming out and helping us pick the corn. So I think right now we're gonna we're gonna go take Moses to the creek. Yep, Moses hasn't been to the creek yet, so yeah. it'll be his first experience over there and it's been a long day. He's been in training, so I think yeah. he deserves some creek time. So we're gonna take Moses to the creek. And we won't always take him to the creek all the time just because we don't want him wandering off or anything like that but just a couple times we just kind of want to just take them down there and just get them used to different uh kind of a scenery but we're not going to do that all the time we're, he's mainly going to stay here probably 99 percent of the time yeah. because that's his job we don't want him trying to run down to the creek or anything like that yeah so, it'll it's it's not something we'll do every time it's a no. special occasion he's never been so we just want to take him just to see what he does and so we're gonna take him down to the creek now. Look, we have there's like one or two that look like marble color, like this. I don't know. No, remember they like white. They were uh, in the shop. Oh yeah. All right, now we're going to get the corn stalks and start feeding them to the pigs. Here, piggies. <laughs> Moses, you can get stepped on. No, it's off. Awesome. Big one. There you go. Looks like the pigs are enjoying it. The goats got their share now. The pigs are going to enjoy theirs. Moses is just along for the ride here. <laughs> All right, so we are down here at the creek. And this is Moses' first time at the creek, so we're gonna see what he thinks about the water. I think, I think he might be a little scared, so we'll see what he thinks. Good boy. He's 
a little scared, but that's to be expected. It's his first time in the water, so he's a little nervous, but he's just a pup, so I'm just gonna wash him off a little bit and probably call it a day for him at the creek. He don't he don't like it too much. Good boy. Alright, so that's where we're gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, Moses got to come to the creek for the first time, so he's still a little apprehensive about it, I think. But every puppy is a little scared of the water at first. It just takes some getting used to. But, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, I ask you please subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more of little Moses and more of what we got going on around the farm. Be sure and hit that thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Take care and God bless.